what we do is we measure 14 and 3 quarter inches from the plywood to there and then we snap a line across them all so it's nice and straight and then we cut them all at a 90 degree angle to whatever the pitch is and this it's a 5 12 So we cut all these so that they are now perpendicular with the ground. So we got 2x6 plywood running into the trusses. Kind of a little bit of an x-ray view of what's going on. This right here we call a cricket. When the water comes down these slopes it's all going to run up against this wall right here. So you need to have this little angled piece of plywood to keep the water off the wall and run it out to the gutters. Because that surface area is going to be a lot of water. The very last time we're gonna be up on this roof. Not gonna miss it. It's hot up there. These are a foot wide, foot down. Just three big old boxes in the entryway. So this soffit is a foot out, two by six up, six inches up, and then out another four inches. Just a little decorative feature. Some people call them coffers. Coffers or soffit, whatever you want to call them. I had to bump this little part out three and a half inches because it didn't go in with the corner of this wall very nice. You always got to consider where the drywall is going to hang and how it's going to look when it's all done. Code says that on shear walls the plywood has to go from the concrete all the way to the plywood on the roof. So you got to build these little goofy walls on top of the main walls to make that happen. Can't see. Focus. Sun's too bright. Guys, thanks for watching these videos. If you have any other questions you want to see me make a video of some other topic, please feel free to comment in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.